Now I'm gonna be going over the best wireless earbuds to use on your iPhone this year. So whether you're looking to just buy some earbuds or maybe upgrade from something older, I've got three solid picks I'm gonna be going over and I'm gonna kick things off with the Beats Studio Buds. Now, these earbuds are awesome for a couple of different reasons. For one, they have a great battery life of around eight hours. They've got an awesome design and they've got three different color choices. Now you can get these in red, white, and black, but if I had to recommend a color to everyone, it would definitely be red. I think they look extremely slick. They've got some cool features for you know skipping tracks, pausing things. They're also noise canceling. Now, these are gonna run you 150 bucks, but honestly, I think they're definitely worth it. And another nice thing about using the Beat Studio Buds is they work really well, you know, if you ever switch over from iOS to Android, they work great for Android phones. Okay, next up, we've got the AirPods third gen. Now, uh, these get around six hours of battery life. They're really good for anything iOS. They've got features that, you know, you can only use for an iOS phone. Now, if you didn't know, AirPods do work with Android phones as well, but when you connect them, you don't get those features. The one thing I don't like about the AirPods is they're a little bit long on the stem, but other than that, you know, they're fine. Okay, and actually, if I had to recommend only one to you guys, uh, one pick, it would definitely be the ones I'm gonna be going over right now, the Beats Fit Pro. The reason I like these is because they've got a stem that stays in your ear, it kind of wraps over it. So if you plan on getting some earbuds for, you know, working out or, you know, heavy exercising, these are awesome. They're a little bit more expensive. They've got some really nice features though. Those run to you at uh, 200 bucks and yeah. Okay, anyways, just to kind of recap, the Beat Studio Buds I would look at, uh, for 150, you can get the AirPods third gen for around the same price. If you spend a little bit more money, you know, the Beats Fit Pro are honestly my top pick overall. And I'm actually gonna show you our unboxing of them, so let's check that out. To go. Now, the box design is nice for sure. It looks pretty fancy. I've also got these in black. And you can get the Beats Fit Pro in four different colors. So they've got black, white, purple, and gray. And we'll take a closer look at the color options later in this video. All right, but as far as getting these little uh, pull tab things off, almost got it, almost there. All right, we got it. All right, so it should just slide out pretty easy now. Okay, now we've got another box within a box. <laughs> all right one more time and uh boom there we go okay uh definitely looks nice for sure happy with the color choice now the carrying case is obviously small enough to fit in the palm of your hand uh looks like we've got probably a user manual in here all right yeah a little charger i have got some apple music instruction manual And of course, we've got a beat sticker right here. Love these uh, stickers they throw with their uh, their headphones. Pretty cool. Okay, and then yeah, um, pretty straightforward. You're gonna have like some little uh, earbud tips you could switch out in this uh, packaging here, and then you've got like a little charger. Okay, so here it is, guys. Let's uh, let's take a look at this. Pretty cool. It's got a smooth matte finish. And it's got a clamshell opening, right? So this is actually a little bit different than the Beat Studio Buds, which we'll take a look at shortly. Next, I wanted to pull these up on Apple's website, so where were some of the different color options as well as some of the specs. So like I said, you've got four colors, black, white, which I would definitely recommend not getting. They'll get dirty super quick, stone purple, which look really nice, and then sage gray. Now, these Earbuds come with an H1 chip for audio sharing, automatic switching, adaptive active noise cancellation, transparency mode, spatial audio, IPX4 rated, and they get a six hour battery life. Now, the one thing I do really like about the design on these compared to the Beats Studio Buds is that they've got the wing tip on them, which is gonna help you know these stay in your ear better, right? Now, I also wanna pull up the Beats Studio Buds since we're on Apple's website because they are an alternative you can get these in three different colors. Uh, they sell for 50 bucks cheaper. Right now, they're actually uh, a little bit more than that, a little bit more of a discount. Um, and then you've got white, black, and red. Now, you can get these in red, which I do like. Thing about the Beat Studio Buds, they give you eight hours of battery life. So you do get a better battery life on these. But, you know, I, I do really like the wingtip uh, design you're going to get on the Beats Fit Pro. 
And since I own the Beat Studio Buds, I'm actually going to grab them so we can compare the two. Now, design-wise, they do look very similar, but when it comes to opening the case, it's a little bit easier on the Beat Studio Buds. The Beats Fit Pro have like a clamshell opening, and you kind of have to grab the back of it to open it, which is a little bit tricky, I guess. And you can see I'm actually struggling for a second here, but there we go. Okay, uh, but as far as the design of these earbuds, definitely leaning to the, the wingtip design because they're going to stay in your ear a lot better. So let's actually get them out and, uh, you know, take a look at them. Yeah, dude, I really like that wingtip for sure. Just holding up to the camera so you guys can see them. All right, very cool. All right, I'm gonna put them down. I'm actually gonna grab an iPhone so we can connect these via Bluetooth and maybe test out the sound quality on them. Got my iPhone 13 mini right here. Now, just a tip, and this works uh, kind of the same way with all of these uh, you know, Beats earbuds. In order to get them to connect, wirelessly for the first time you want to make sure that one of them is actually in the carrying case because if you just kind of leave it open like this you can connect the button and press the button for it to connect but for whatever reason it's not going to connect until you actually put the earbud one of the earbuds in the uh the case what you're going to see right here so just showing you an example of this Okay, yeah, as soon as I put them in, they showed up in the Bluetooth options. And then when I put both of them in, it's going to actually do the little pop-up right here. And uh, boom, we've got our connection going on. Okay, so obviously I am using an iPhone, you know, for the connection example, but these will work on all Android phones as well. Now, I wanted to try to test out the sound quality on these and hold them up to the camera for you guys so you can hear them. So uh, bear with me for a second and we're going to do that. Okay, cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing on the Beats Fit Pro. I'm going to be doing some comparison with these earbuds, especially with the Beats Studio and the AirPods 3 in upcoming videos. Uh, please tap that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching it, and we'll see you guys in the next video.